Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are in Canada at the University of Waterloo in search of master's and PhD opportunities as usual. So this university is still accepting applications in a number of courses. So some courses are closed for the year or for the September intake, but others are still open. So today we'll be looking for those courses that are still open and most importantly, funding opportunities, master's and PhD funded opportunities at the University of Waterloo. For courses that are closed, no problem. You can always document them for the next application window. So let us begin without any further delay. So there are several scholarships we'll be looking at here that are still open. The first one is the Perimeters Scholars International Award. The Perimeters Scholars International um, Award. And you can see the value here, 30,000 Canadian dollars. There is also this one, the Global Governance Doctoral Fellowship, which is worth from 25,000 to 35,000 Canadian dollars. There is yet another one for those in the engineering department. For those in the engineering department, there are lots of funding I've noticed at this university. So for four years, you get up to 120,000 um, Canadian dollars. So and good news for those looking for English waivers. We'll also be checking out the English waivers for different countries as well. So if you do not want to write the English language test, there are a number of countries here that qualify for waivers. We'll be looking at that as well. And then we'll be moving to the scholarship database, the scholarship database, where you can dig up different kinds of scholarships, um, particular to the course you're interested in. So let's begin. So the first one, the Perimeter Scholars International Award, as you can see here, is worth 30,000 Canadian dollars. And this scholarship would cover travel, feeding, food, textbooks, and every other thing, as well as your um, tuition. As you can see, incred incredibly generous scholarship and is for master's program, but not for every department, it's for the Department of Physics and Astronomy. Physics and Astronomy, and um, is for both Canadian um, citizens or permanent residents, as well as international students. So if you're interested in this scholarship, go to this department, Department of Physics and Astronomy, the master's course and see the applications requirement and try to meet the applications requirement. Then mention to them as well, meet the contact person in that department and tell the person you're interested in this um, award, mention this award and tell them you're interested. As I said, some courses are still open. I think the physics and astronomy course is still open. So quickly go and check and make sure you apply on time. But if you cannot make the September intake, which um, the, the deadline is usually in February or March for September intake, if you cannot make that, some courses also offer January intake. And the deadline for the January intake is usually in June, but you confirm all this information for the course you're interested in, whether you're in this department or not, see the application window for your course. So that is the assignment you have to do um, after watching this video. So let's move to the next scholarship. So this is the Global Governance Doctoral Fellowship. So if you're interested in global governance, a PhD in global governance, I think you should go for this. The value is 25,000 to 35,000 Canadian dollars annually incredibly generous. You can also receive other kinds of prizes as well, other kinds of um, funding as well in department, probably as teaching assistant or as a research assistant as well. So if you're interested in the global governance program, I think you should rush immediately to the Waterloo um, program. So you just go to the search bar and PhD, um, PhD in global governance and check for the applications requirements and most importantly their deadlines you want to make the deadlines if you cannot make it this year check it to the january intake if there is none so you have enough time to prepare for the next intake for next year so let's go to the next one 
this is the engineering department. Um, I've also noticed that in the engineering department, a number of courses, they have different deadlines. So as I said, there's a September intake. Some courses will have a January intake and there might be another one again, another September intake next year. So it depends on your schedule. It depends on how quickly you can put together your application package and apply for it. So this is a PhD scholarship worth 120,000 Canadian dollars for four years, as you've seen. Go to these courses and see exactly how you need to apply. Do you need to contact a professor? And what kind of grade do you need to get? Do you need to write the English language test? And things like that. Talking about the English language test, I discovered here at the University of Waterloo that there are exemptions for a number of countries. So exemptions for these countries. So I'll be sharing this website with you, of course. So these countries on this list are exempted from producing the English language test results. And I've already seen Nigeria here on the list. I've seen Fiji. I can see um, um, Jamaica is here. There's Kenya here. There is Grenada, Australia. So just check for your country. I can see Sri Lanka here as well. You know, there's Liberia, there's Uganda. So these countries are exempted from producing any English language um, test for your admission. So if you're in this category, congratulations, you do not need to submit any TOEFL or IELTS test. So let's quickly go to the last bit, which is the the database, this is the scholarship database. So if none of your courses were mentioned in these tabs we opened earlier, you can go to this database and see if you can dig out something for yourself. You could select here a master's or a PhD, select your, citizen, your citizenship, international student. You can check the program, maybe politics or something, and then check if there is a scholarship for you or you can do any. So here you get all the different kinds of scholarship, whether it's partial, whether it's full, whether it's what 20,000, whether it's what 4,000. Um, so you see the varieties of scholarships here and you can see something about 4,000 here. This is 20,000 also in the engineering department, as you can see. So use this search feature to dig out something that might work for you and hopefully your course is still accepting application if your course has closed for the year no problem you can always put documents together for the next application window and that's it guys different kinds of masters and phd scholarships at the university of waterloo and we also looked at countries with english language test exemptions so as usual, guys, we cannot wait to celebrate you. So use these materials I've shared with you already and start working on them as soon as possible. If you have questions, put them in the um, comment section or better still contact the universities directly. It is better to hear from the horse's mouth. And there are other materials, of course, on this YouTube channel that will aid your application process you can see there are dozens hundreds of scholarships in different countries around the world click on one of them go through them quickly and start an application so it is goodbye for now but get to work as soon as you can see you at the top